I'm going to unveil the best kept secret. Are you ready? Did you know that Korean is the third most commonly spoken language in the state of Georgia? That's right. English is of course the first most commonly spoken language and it is followed by Spanish as the second most common language. Korean is third out of the dozens of languages spoken in the state. Most of the Korean speakers in Georgia live here in Gwinnett County. Over the past few decades, one of the most vibrant Korea towns in the country has sprung up right here in Duluth, Georgia. And in my opinion, it is the best city in America for Koreans to live in. And today I'm going to tell you why. Hi, I'm Tim Trevathan with Tim Trevathan Homes, your go-to Atlanta realtor. And I've had the joy of working with clients from across the US and directly from Korea even, who have moved here to Georgia and I also work with families and young professionals who are upgrading or downsizing their home and moving locally. If you're in the same boat, I'd love to hear from you, whether it's a call, text, or email, so let's talk. I think in this day and age, we can all agree that there are Korea towns all across America. And in my last video, I compared the biggest three, Los Angeles, New York City, and Atlanta. I personally live near Atlanta's Koreatown, but have visited Los Angeles and New York and remain convinced that the Koreatown right here in Duluth is the best one in the country. I'm also convinced that Atlanta is the best city in America for Koreans to live in. So Duluth, for those of you not familiar with Atlanta, is a suburb of Atlanta located roughly 30 miles from downtown Atlanta in Gwinnett County. Gwinnett is one of the most diverse counties in the entire Southeast and the Koreatown in Duluth has been called the soul of the South. For all the details on Atlanta's Koreatown, make sure to check out my video playlist where I have a ton of videos all about Koreatown in Suwannee, Duluth, Johns Creek, also the top four communities and just different ins and outs of the stores and businesses that you can expect to find here. So just for an overview, there are actually three different parts to Koreatown here. The original Koreatown located down in Dorville and what is now considered the primary Koreatown, which is in Duluth, and a newer but quickly grown Korea town up in Swanee. So why is Atlanta the best city in America for Koreans to live in? Number one would be the Korea town itself. If you live anywhere in Gwinnett County or the north part of Fulton County, you won't be far from Korea town. As I mentioned a moment ago, Duluth is the primary Korea town, but there are smaller Korea towns in Dorville and Swanee and Johns Creek. The second reason would be the cost of living. New York and LA have great Korea towns, but ask anyone who has moved to Atlanta from California or New York, and they will all tell you that life is generally much cheaper here in Georgia. Let's look at some numbers for a minute. According to salary.com, the cost of living is about 44% lower in Atlanta than in NYC. Salaries, meanwhile, average only 16% lower. That means that when many people move here from New York, they make a little bit less money but have extra disposable income because they spend less on the necessities than they did in New York. The same is true if you move from Los Angeles to Atlanta. The cost of living is about 29% less here while salaries average about 12% less. If you want to live in or near a great Korea town, it is hands down cheaper for most people to live here than to live in LA or New York City. Number three, sense of community. No matter who you are, everyone wants to have a sense of belonging and community. There are so many options for that here in Atlanta. Church provides not only a religious community, but also a cultural community for many Koreans in Atlanta. As with most cities in the South, there are English speaking churches everywhere here. But what makes Atlanta particularly attractive to many Koreans is the number of Korean speaking churches. There are multiple Korean speaking Baptists, Catholic, Methodist, and Presbyterian churches in the Atlanta area. Ones that you may want to check out if you do come here would be KCPC, Korean Community Presbyterian Church, which is considered the biggest church in Georgia for Koreans, and it's located in Duluth. And there's also Hanin, Korean Church of Atlanta. It's a United Methodist Church that's located also in Duluth. And if you're Catholic, you can also check out the Catholic Church, which is located on Duluth Highway 120. If you're looking outside Duluth, then you can check out Promise Church, which is located in Suwannee. And if you're going further south, close to the perimeter where I-285 is, then you can check out Four Points. For many first-generation Korean immigrants, it is important to maintain a sense of their Korean identity. In Atlanta, the Korean Culture Center provides free monthly performances of traditional Korean music, as well as helps facilitate performances located at schools and other locations in the community. The Korean American School of Atlanta's goal is to promote Korean language and culture. They provide cultural experiences as well as language classes. 
There are also several Korean language only day cafes, which help promote a sense of Korean identity in the community. Five, Korean language. Speaking of the Korean language, Atlanta is a great city for Koreans who either don't speak English at all or are not comfortable speaking English. There is such a wide variety of Korean owned and Korean speaking businesses and services that you can do almost anything you need to do in Korean. This provides a wonderful sense of independence to those who don't speak English as they can go to the doctor, take their car to a mechanic, or do whatever they need to do without needing someone to translate for them. So whether it's a native Korean straight from Korea or if it's a Korean American who has grown up here in America for any number of years, Duluth and the surrounding area is perfect for everybody. It caters to all of them. And this also provides the Korean community's young people a great environment in which to grow up and maintain their Korean skills. They're able to learn Korean at home and then hear it spoken in the community as well. There are other options for kids as well. Parsons Elementary is a public school in Gwinnett County that offers a Korean dual language immersion program where students are taught for half of the day in English and half of the day in Korean. Incoming kindergartners districted for Parsons may enroll in the program if they wish. Older students may enroll if there is space available. Yi Wang Academy is a public charter school on Peachtree Industrial Boulevard located in Duluth that also offers a 50-50 English and Korean immersion program. There's no tuition as it is a public school and any student kindergarten through fifth grade is welcome to apply. But because it is a charter school, admission is not guaranteed. If there are more applicants than there are spots, admission is decided via a lottery system. Number six, food and shopping. I can't do a video on Koreatown without talking about food and shopping, of course. First, there is not only one H Mart in or near Koreatown, there are not only two or three H Marts nearby, but there are four H Marts in or near Koreatown. There's also an Ashi Plaza in Swanee, there's a Zion Market in Duluth, several locations of Namdaemun Farmer's Market, and a Mega Mart located in Duluth. There are just so many, not to mention other markets that are not necessarily Korean, such as Tesso or Just Go. There is just so much to see here. So if you have been to an H Mart or a different market, I don't need to tell you how great they are. You already know. Having Korean and other Asian foods and goods readily available is part of what makes Atlanta such a great place for Koreans to live. Plus, there is an abundance of authentic, really tasty Korean restaurants in Koreatown. It is easy to buy the ingredients to cook Korean food at home and is also really easy to take a break and go out for Korean food. Number seven, easy travel to South Korea. Yes, many Koreans in America have family and friends back in South Korea. The Atlanta airport, Hartsfield-Jackson International Airport, is about 45 minutes down the road from Koreatown. But fair warning, it can be over an hour if it is a prime traffic time. But they do have Peach Pass, which I recommend getting if you do end up living here long term. And there's a daily flight from Atlanta to Seoul that makes it really easy to travel to and from South Korea. You don't have to worry about connecting flights or driving to another city to catch a flight. So this is a lot of reasons and these are the ones that I would say are my top reasons that Atlanta is the best city in America for Koreans. If you wanna check it out for yourself or have questions about the community, please feel free to get in touch with me. I would love to help you find a great home for your family. If you're a young professional, I help anybody near or around Koreatown. Until next time, 안녕히 계세요.